your leg right away. They're like, fine, I'll be back here. <laughs> so you have to hold your, your, your core, especially on the smaller things. There's more drive in, yes, yes. And hold your core and shove, yes. That was beautiful. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Right, yep, yeah, ready for second level. <laughs> so it's right rein, upper left leg. The core keeps your seat down in the saddle so that it's driving. So Yes, and he responds to it, good. That's fine. If you thought that meant go, let it mean go because um, we don't want to stop a horse from going off our seat. <laughs> and he has to cough his cigarette. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let him let him breathe and get it out of him. <laughs> take and give, take and give. Even when he's down, you can touch him and give. Support by a leg somewhere. Good. And talk to him, talk to him. So on his stiffer side, it's like a squeeze, 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 and then do something, and then, or not, or give, you know, yeah. and, and let him go, and let him see if he'll demonstrate some self-carriage. And it's the right rein. Yeah, right. it's the right rein that's so stiff, yeah. <clears throat> that's what I figured. So you squeeze, you squeeze, maybe then take with an opening rein a little bit, get that left rein along the neck, upper left leg, in on him, yes, and then give right away. Don't take too long. You can be strong, but don't be long. Yes. You know what I mean? I mean, you can, like we used to say, jokingly, you know, rip their mold around, you know. <laughs> and then give. And then give, <laughs> exactly. I mean, there's things that the Germans said that sounded rough, yeah. you know? Like, half off is a good jerk in the mouth and the spurs in the same old holes. <laughs> But that is a joke. It is, uh, they are German after all. <laughs> and if you've ever been there, they're not all that funny. <laughs> now, Wolf had a great sense of humor. Yeah. He yes. really did, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, he had the quirkiest, funniest sense of humor. <clears throat> but he was here a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he yeah. picked up, yeah. Yeah. And he was in Italy. No, and they're, yeah. they're just hilarious. <laughs> he was in Rome for two years, yeah. 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 Do you think she's ready to maybe try to keep her hands a little bit closer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Now, what I want you to do is to try when we're doing this. Now, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze on the right. Um, keep, keep that along like a band on the barrel on the outside of the neck. Nice. The opening inside rain. Okay. Now, the thing is, we don't want to get him bopping off one rein or the other. The wider your hands get, the more they bop off one rein. The, and you know, they do it like pros. <laughs> they are so good at catching on to this, and we have to start as we move up. You know, there's training level, but who wants to be in training level for 18 years? <laughs> that was like that judge in, in Minnesota that wrote on the training level test, because the horse was 18. 18 and showing promise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> time to move on. Exactly. There is time to move on. You don't want to be the perfect training level rider. These are all steps. And perfect comes to training level from adding higher. So we're going to get our hands closer together, and we're going to try to use our reins as like you're like now this bend to the right. You're going to take both hands slightly to the right, like the the left hand is going to come over the crest a little bit, and the right hand open. You keep them the same distance apart, but towards each other. So whichever way you take a rein, act as if it's attached to the other hand, and that hand comes with it. Okay. So if you open the right rein. Left rein should come along the neck and stay the same distance. Your, your arms are arguing with your brain. They want to go wider. <laughs> now think forward, off your calves. And if you want to sit, that's fine. But you, or you can rise and you squeeze each time you sit. 
Good. Let your heels drop. Good. And both hands together and moving them as if that was one rein. Um, like you have one rein to the mouth that is split and you, you do do more with, one, with like squeezes and movements, but not a lot of uh, letting them bop off each side. Because what they do is they go, they, they get that. You know, they're never there. They're never, they're never there. really there, exactly. I think she, I, she's really getting it. Yes, she yes. He really is Push, 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 push. Yes, now you're, you're, you tighten your core. You sit close to the pommel. Lately I've been saying a very not nice thing. Well, it, 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 <laughs> I've been saying. She said it at my horse show. It was Okay, I've been saying pubic bone to the pommel. <laughs> it's anatomical. Yes. yes. <laughs> but that's why you have to sit as close to the front as possible. And what you're doing is you tighten your core to hold yourself there. And then you let yourself sit. And it works out so well because they're like, woo, I went out from under this, which is forward. And remember, we correct everything forward. Everything. Running away, you correct forward. So, in other words, you drive in when they're totally, running away yeah, totally. until they shift their yeah. balance back and you can slow them down. And we're going to work towards getting our hands relatively close together, almost like knuckle reach out. Knuckle. Yeah, yeah, like reach out and touch your little fingers or something, mm -hmm. you know. And then when you want to do something, it's, it's a, such a tiny little movement, you know. It's like one rein goes along the neck and the other rein is a little bit open. Now you're going to turn. Don't get tentative. Don't get forward. Remember, tighten your core, push, and keep close to the pommel. I will not say that again, and I'll be really careful of horse shows. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to me, but, you know, not everybody is. <laughs> okay, take and give on the right. Take and give on the right. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's like squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If he doesn't respond, your leg comes on even more and you come back through the elbow, but you still keep everything kind of together. Don't let it, you lost the haunch to the outside. So when you pull down the rein, the haunches always go the other direction. So you have to guard the haunch. Driving forward, yeah. Think forward, think forward, more. Each seat bone drops in the walk. You know, you get that feel of each seat bone dropping. That's a girl. And if he gets lethargic, you start on the high side and actually push it down with your seat. You don't just follow it down. You know, some horses just swing along and they walk and you can follow it. Other horses, you've got to convince them to cover some ground. Good. He's got nice little dimples developing in his lower uh, butt. <laughs> I like that. That's where we want those muscles to start developing. It's low on the crew. I don't know on the Low on the Punch. Like around the Gaskin, just above the Gaskin. Right, Push them forward. So do you, uh, if I try some shoulder in? I don't mind at all. You you know me. I coach what you do. And I'm not, uh, I don't, you know, I like to see you do that. Well, I guess I'm letting you know that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Inside leg forward, outside leg back when you do it. <clears throat> Sit in, you sit close to the front of the saddle. Stay even, nice. Good girl, don't let him drift. <clears throat> so you develop a movement. So what I want you to do is be sure to look up towards the end. Because the more you look up, the more you can keep them on a line. So both hands to the right. Opening right rein a little bit, left rein along the neck. What, what, what? Okay, don't drop your left shoulder or drop your right shoulder. Don't raise. We want our shoulders down, so I'm going to say drop the right. <laughs> take and give on the right. Don't let them look to the left. Don't let them look to the left. Yeah, sometimes you have to take the indirect rein of opposition, which is right rein towards the left rein. Right. So you're going to take him out that way to stand him up, to get him to go. Yes, yes. Now look up, look up, look up, because if you don't, you can't stay straight. Good, 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 good job, Rebecca. Very good job. Do you see how that helps when you look forward? Because you start tightening somewhere where you need it instead of just feeling like he's right, but you're really a drunken sailor. Good, and that's right. And you do it, both hands to the left of hair because he's, yeah, you want to 
Stand them up over that shoulder. Good. Don't get your hands too far apart. And look up where you're going. <laughs> it's that a girl. Good job. Take and give, take and give, take and give. And you know, if you can give longer, that's great. What we have to do is start, start feeling when he's going to start locking up against you and catch him just before that. So, but the longer you can leave him alone and that when you do take a little teeny movement, they go, yes ma'am, this little imperceptible gift. Oh, you feel it and it's like a miracle. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. Don't lean forward. Open your chest and get your seat forward. And talk, huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does like to pop his right shoulder. So remember when you're going this direction, you've got to keep enough right rein without holding it too long. So you're gonna almost, you can, you start it and go squeeze, 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 so he doesn't quite, yeah. So don't, don't let him pop it. A little more right rein. A little more right rein. And then you don't have to have on this side your right leg too much farther back that, because the right rein already helps the haunch move to the left. And you don't want him to, he already wants to bend this way. So you have to take both hands to the left on this side. And sit in and think of your hip bones leading, your hip bones leading so that you're not propping forward over your seat. Open your chest. The longer line should be the front line. The shorter line is your back. That's why sometimes I'll say arch your back, which is a bad connotation, but it is, it's kind of the upper back. Yeah, lift your rib cage and open your chest. You lift your front rib cage up and open so that your seat stays ahead. See, you're still ahead yeah. with your upper body. I want you to, okay, think of leaning back almost. <clears throat> We're, I, I gotta say a word that'll get you to do it so that we can go to really nice classical terms. <laughs> yeah, the, the shoulders match his shoulders, the hips match his hips, and that's different. You get the twist. You, oh, you probably don't remember the twist. That dance. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the tip twist really well, and it really helped in my riding because <laughs> I won a twist contest once. <laughs> oh, I'm when Elizabeth was born. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> take and give, take and give. Both hands to the left. Get that right rein along the neck. You still have to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze on the right because that's a stiff side. And what it's doing is we're trying to unlock the pole. We're not trying to... A nice consequence is they bring their chin in and they, they hopefully raise their pole and stuff and give. But the, what we really want is to unlock the pole. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze on the right. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't lean forward. Inside, um, your outside shoulder is the one that should be forward and your inside seat bone. Inside hip. But we... We want to sit as relatively even in the saddle as possible and let the bend give us that inside seat going forward. 